Fortune and glory are what he seeks. A mild-mannered college professor, he is one of the movie's most incredible heroes. Like classic movie heroes of the past, he travels to far-off exotic places in search of adventure. In his new movie, Temple of Doom, he travels as most movie heroes do, with a girl and a most unusual sidekick. We're on our way to Delhi. This is Miss Scott. This is Mr. Round. Shut down. My name is Indiana Jones. Wow! Holy look! Cross landing! Short round. Step on it. Okie dokie, Dr. Jones. Hold on to your potato. Try not to the kid driving the car. Oh. 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 He may be just a kid, but Indiana Jones' sidekick in the Steven Spielberg George Lucas blockbuster movie does all the things sidekicks have always done, like being in the right place at the right time, at the last minute, to provide a helping hand. This is fun! Sidekicks come in all shapes and sizes. Some resemble oversized garbage cans. They're usually weaker, smaller, and more vulnerable, yet without them, how could heroes survive? But if the hero needs a sidekick, so too does a sidekick need a hero. Take Lois Lane. Easy, miss. I've got you. Who's got you? Sidekicks also provide the important comedy relief in movies, helping to relieve the tension. Take Clyde the Chimp. In two Clint Eastwood movies, he not only gets them into and out of trouble, he also gets them laughs. Bang! The sidekick not only helps the hero, he helps the scriptwriter. He's a perfect foil for exposition. English word for treasury. Exchequer or eggs. Check. Oh, you've got it again. Look about Dynamic duos have long been a part of our movie-going and television experience. Week after week, they've helped us escape into worlds of fun and high adventure. Name a hero. And the sidekick quickly comes to mind. Han Solo has his Chewbacca. Roy Rogers is Gabby Hayes. Captain Kirk is Mr. Spock. Ever since Sancho Panza helped Don Quixote tilt at windmills, some of the brawniest and the brightest of our heroes have been unable to chart their way through troubled and dangerous worlds without a partner. And some of these partners seem oddly paired. But out of the union has come the excitement, laughter, and triumph. Tonight, we're going to look at some of our most memorable heroes and sidekicks and celebrate their loyalty and commitment to one another. I'm going to take a look at how Indiana Jones and Short Round have continued the tradition of movie heroes and sidekicks. Shorty. Their adventures are a rousing, sometimes funny tribute to our cinematic past. Hello, no, lady, we're going for a ride. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is he nuts? Oh, you know that. He's crazy! Harrison Ford, who's traded in the Millennium Falcon, his space crate of the Star Wars saga, for an elephant, is partnered in the latest Indiana Jones adventure, by a 12-year-old Vietnamese boy named Ki Quang. Ki, making his first movie, was discovered by director Steven Spielberg. He plays the perfect sidekick, loyal and funny. Ki's role as Indy's partner is described by Spielberg as being like the artful dodger in Oliver Twist, only smarter and wiser. I'm so well in a movie, and uh, I'm, her, I'm uh, Indiana Jones' best friend. Since I was four, I live on the street and I tried to pick, uh, pick Dr. Jones' pocket and he caught me. 
and I was his bodyguard, I would save him and protect him. And he's almost like my father, and I'm almost like his son. He, he loves me, and I love him. I've got to save him! You can take care of yourself! You need him! I've got to save Indy! Okay, save him. Quickly. Older beyond his years, the streetwise short round is not one to be tossed aside so easily. He comes to Indy with highly developed skills. To perform these skills in the movie, the actor Ki Kwan must work with karate experts. Good, good, good. Short Round is in the tradition of the boy wonder Robin. Like other movie sidekicks, they fight side by side with their elders. But not all movie sidekicks prove their loyalty with the fists. Some, like Smiley Burnett, who rode with Gene Autry, provide moral support. Took you longer than usual, Gene. So it was with Gabby Hayes, another perennial Western sidekick. Hero is Wild Bill Elliott. Now then, I'm a peaceable man and I hate fighting. <laughs> Heroes and sidekicks fight only when they have to, but like Indian short round, they never duck a fight. The bad guys must be stopped. The good guys win because their cause is right and because they stick together. to the end and constant companion sidekicks in the movies and television prove that when it comes to survival friendship is more important than even marriage partners buddies call them what you will they ride together fight together stick together through thick and thin their relationship is based on trust the kind of trust that goes beyond words it usually begins at the moment hero and sidekick strike up a friendship yes when Robin Hood first meets Little John in a legendary confrontation, who could doubt their imminent friendship and commitment to one another? My friend, I should ask payment for what I'm teaching you here today. This time we got a count. There's your change. Errol Flynn and Alan Hale were sidekicks in life and in the movies. They teamed together ten times. <laughs> Burt Reynolds and Jerry Reed similarly teamed together in Smokey and the Bandit. Almighty, oh, would you look at that? Well, I don't guess we're gonna be riding in the truck together this time out. Oh no, son, no, son. I'll be driving this one. Hey, uh, blocker, blocker. You'll be driving the truck. That's this right. is Bandit one, and that is uh, Bandit two. Mm -hmm. Together again. Oh, yeah, like uh, Fred and Ginger and Lester and Earl. Smokey is their sheriff, and the highway, their Sherwood Forest. Hey, Bandit, me and Fred's got a question. What are you and Fred want? How come we doing this? Well, why not? Well, he said it couldn't be done. Well, that's the reason, son. Trust and dependability are the hallmarks of their relationship. Aren't you dead? In Star Trek, Vulcan's Mr. Spock and Earth's Captain Kirk prove that even aliens can become the most trusted of allies. You are my superior officer. You are also my friend. I have been and always shall be yours. 